guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video full of basically reviews, first impressions. I've had a bunch of new makeup that came in and I've been sitting on it and I really wanted this to be a review or like a first impressions of the new Naked Heat palette, which I did include in this makeup look. Uh, but I also had these motor brushes to try out. I have the new Maybelline you know, highlighter to try out, I have the new Flower Beauty Sponge, the new L'Oreal Mascara, so many new products that I've been meaning to talk to you guys about, so I thought it would be so fun since I was filming, um, you know, the Naked Heat palette, if I threw all of that into this video. So if you guys are interested, let's hop into my demo of the product. Okay guys, so to do my first impressions, I'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face. This is a new moisturizer I got through Influencer and the brand Laneige, I believe is how you say that. This is actually a Korean skincare brand and is available on Sephora.com. I was just doing some research on this product um, and I decided to include it in my video. Um, I actually used this for the first time last night and I think it did a really good job of hydrating my face. It's like a nice, very creamy. I actually put too much on yesterday, so I need to keep that in mind. But I'm just taking the product off the lid and it smells so good. For moisturizer, I have been exclusively using, um, what is it, uh, my Sunday Riley Juno Oil. Um, that honestly has helped me so much. My skin feels really plump and moisturized, you know, all times of the day. So I do really like that. Um, especially in the summertime, your skin can definitely feel dehydrated. So I'm really loving that product, but I'm happy to have something new to try out. So what I do first, every time I do my makeup is prep my skin. So I usually put on a moisturizer. So that's what I'm doing right now. Like I said, overall, I think this is an affordable product. I do believe it's about $35 on Sephora's website. I can't remember exactly. I will definitely leave it down below if you're interested in shopping it. And this jar is so beautiful. I do love it. Um, let's see here, yeah. So it basically says that it's a hydrating and soothing mineral water and micro hyaluronic acid so hyaluronic acid is really good for your skin it's very hydrating so I have that all over my face I don't think it's like sticky or anything it definitely absorbs it doesn't just sit on top of my skin so for eyeshadow primer I'm going to use this Lorac behind the scenes eye primer usually I use the MAC um, paint pot in soft ochre but I've been trying to like try something new so I just usually will use this Real Techniques brush and put some primer on. Some people also use concealer which is totally fine. I just get a lot of like eyeshadow primers free with like purchases especially Lorac always usually will include one with their eyeshadow palettes so I've been trying to like use these up you know so they don't get old. So I'm just generously applying that on my lids like so. I'm so excited for this palette, you guys. The last Naked palette that spoke to me was probably the first one. I did like the third one too, but I just couldn't use those colors. So this is what the palette looks like. I'm sure you guys have all seen this over the internet. And these are the shades on the inside. Very pretty. I love the packaging. It's so like edgy, you know? So I do have a bunch of clean brushes here. I'm going to attempt to use the brush in the palette because I never do that like recently I saw Kimberly Clark do her brush favorite brushes video and she talked about how much she liked the brush in the what's a palette called the neon one by Urban Decay you know what I'm talking about um and how much she loves it and I was like you know what I never use the brushes in palettes and Urban Decay usually has really good brushes so I am going to use this brush so I did take it out of the packaging first what I'm going to do is grab a fluffy wet and wild brush these are so affordable you can get them at like the dollar store or anywhere and I'm just going to take the shade ounce and just set my lid or set the primer on my lid so what I usually do is I'll take this light shade and kind of put it all over my eyelid Okay, so I think I have enough on there to set it. So now I'm going to use the fluffy blendy side of the brush. 
and I'm going to go into the shade Low Blow, which looks like a perfect transition shade. I'm just going to apply that in my crease. Okay, so for my transition shade, I do like a little bit of a fluffier brush. So I'm just going to grab this brush I have by PH Cosmetics. So I really like this shade. I think it's really beautiful. I really want to do like a halo eye. I saw a few different ones on the internet and I thought they were gorgeous. So I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to tap into He Devil, which is this shade. It's like a beautiful terracotta red orange. And then I'm going to go back into low blow and blend the crease. And then I'm going to pack on the shade Scorched on the middle of the lid. This color is not as like sparkly as I thought. And there's quite a bit of fallout. As you can see, I just made it worse and rubbed it all over my face. I'm going to try and use my finger to see if I can like pad it on. I don't really like this. I don't like the palette. It's not, it's not very good. That color is really disappointing me. Let me try because I just picked up some of the colored rain singles and I feel like this shade right here would really pack a punch. So I'm just going to. So it's not, see, like, this is how you make a glitter eyeshadow, like Urban Decay. Please take notes. Like, I wasn't really planning on pulling any other shadows except the Urban Decay palette. But it's like, you didn't give me a pigmented orange shade, like a bronze shade. Like, that's what this palette is about. Like... Are you kidding me? So that's disappointing. You guys know I like don't feel the need to like continue to add more shadows when a palette's not performing how I expected. Here are the swatches. I just swatched them on my hand. So these are not very good shadows. Well, the some of the like some of them are swatching pretty well but oh my god did the internet just lie to everyone because i swear they did like these are not very pigmented i don't know that was really disappointing i'm really bummed about this palette um so i have a bunch more stuff i want to like review in this video so Let's just keep going. Okay guys, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna test out these brushes. I had shown you guys these in a haul and I just held on to them, didn't use them. So now is better than never. I believe this is the foundation one. These are the Moda brushes by Royal something. You can find them at Walmart. And I've been holding off on using these. So I believe this is the foundation brush. And the foundation I want to show you guys is this Dior Forever Tint Haute Perfection Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen 35 SPF. Now, I really like this foundation. I have tried it before. The only thing is it's not very long wearing, so I'm not a fan of it. I'm contemplating returning it. Everyone talks about how good it is, and I've just been so disappointed because it doesn't last through a full work day which is really, really not okay for me. Like I need my foundation to last a long time because everyone works like eight hours, you know, you can't like be let down by your foundation. And also I am darker now than when I first picked up this foundation. So don't get too freaked out. Hopefully it'll work for me. And I'm just gonna use this brush and review the brush as well after we Get this foundation on my face so 
usually I use a beauty blender for foundation or like some kind of beauty sponge. But I'm trying to be outside the box. I may have got some sun today too, God. I look like I'm putting on white face on the monitor. <laughs> Looks really light. This product does also oxidize, so I think it will relax, like it'll blend into my skin in a second, hopefully. Otherwise, I really may have picked out the wrong color. I don't know, it looks like it would be my color. This is the shade 041. Let's see on the box if it says ochre is the shade. This is what the box looks like. So I think the brush really blended it in well. So I like that, but yeah, it's definitely a little light on my skin. Um, coverage, I would say, is medium. Because I can still see, like, some, like, discoloration I have on my face. But it feels pretty good. I think I'm going to put a little more on. I really like the brush. I think it did a really good job. But I do think it's moving my foundation around a little bit, so... That's kind of weird. Like, it's pulling at the foundation. And I don't really use primer when I do foundation anymore because I feel like my Juno oil is very, it's very hydrating, so I don't need a primer really. I put it on when my Juno oil is still kind of on top of my skin. So I think it is a good mix with my foundation. Kind of like dilutes my foundation a little bit, but this today I have that Laneige cream on. So I didn't feel the need to put primer on. I just don't really use a lot of foundation primer. Okay, so this is all the foundation I'm going to do. I'm just gonna stop. And then I have a concealer to test out. This is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. I love the Pro Glow foundation. So I'm really hoping I like the concealer. So let's grab some of that. This uh, packaging looks a lot like the Fit Me packaging. I like the applicator. It's like a little paddle. The shade is a little bit peachy. And I'm going to use... Okay, this is also kind of a review. This is the Flower Beauty Sponge. This one is really soft, so I don't know if it's everyone's cup of tea. It's a little too soft for me. But I saw... Um, Nicole from Youngwell and Polish talking about it and so I wanted to try it out because it was only $8 at Walmart. Anyway, I've heard so many people like rave about this like Dior foundation and honestly like I don't know I just really don't like it it's it doesn't like it looks good like on my face and like when I look in the mirror it looks good but I just hate that it doesn't last a full work day like that to me makes it like not worth keeping and I feel like it hasn't blended into my skin yet either it does look quite a bit lighter on my face so I'm going to set my eyes. So this is my setting powder. It's the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder. I really like this powder. These are Some of these are first impressions. Some of these products I have had for a while and I've been using for a while. So don't get too confused. But um, like I said, I've just been holding on to them. So I finally decided I was going to do like a Naked Heat first impressions. But I figured I'd just include everything. I didn't think you guys would mind just so I can get my opinions on the products out there for you. And if anybody wants to see any like individual reviews on any products, just let me know. And this foundation, I feel like, is also kind of sticky, so I'm setting pretty much my whole face at this point. Just because I don't want anything to move around, you know? So... I do really like this powder if you guys are looking for a good powder. I like this better than the Laura Mercier. I don't have super dry skin, but with the Laura Mercier powder, I literally noticed like as soon as it touched my skin, it felt like it sucked up all the moisturizer that was in my skin. And I like the RCMA powder, but it does give me a white cast. 
So I like to use this one because it's a tinted and it's like a perfect shade for my skin tone. So another product that's new at the drugstore that I want to try is this Maybelline Curvitude Liner. Now clearly I've never used this product so I'm going to open this up. We're just going to try everything today. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to try out this eyeliner. It has a really cool shape right here. It's like a little curve, so I think it's supposed to be easier for you to hold. I'm so done with the Kat Von Dimas um, liquid liner, by the way, guys, or the tattoo liner, if anyone's curious. This is interesting. I feel like it's going to be eye surgery, so let's try this. So we're just going to stop before we make any messes. And yeah, this liner I really like. Now I'm going to go back into the palette that I don't really like and smoke out my lower lash line because I think that will just maybe take the look to the next level. So I'm just going to use this Morphe M56 brush and I'm just going to go into the shade in Fuego. And then we'll put some heat devil in the part that's closer to the inner part of the eye. And then I'm going to use, I don't know, oh, ounce, which is what I used on my brow bone. Just pop that in the inner corner to like give it a little bit of a highlighted look. My wings are totally uneven, which is totally my fault, but it's hard to do this stuff on camera when you're like trying to look in the mirror and <laughs> oh well okay so this is my favorite liner from the drugstore this is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil if you guys are looking for an amazing affordable eyeliner I would highly recommend this one it just lasts all day it's a really good liner guys and I love like again there was a learning curve on this because it is so thin but Honestly, it's amazing. And I'm just going to blend it a little bit with the same skinny brush. This one smudges out really nice too. So if you mess up and you go out of the water line, you just blend it away. So got that taken care of. Now we need to do brows. My brow products haven't changed. I still use the Anastasia brow powder, the Anastasia brow brush, the Anastasia brow gel. This is in the shade chocolate if you guys are curious. And usually what I do is I just fill out the bottom so I can get the shape. And then I do the front. I love that to be like really square. I don't know that that makes for the most natural brows but I just love having that front part, part be square. And then I just lightly fill in the rest of my brow. Just got a little bit of fallout on my nose, so I can blend that out of there. And then this brow um, is a pain in the butt because I don't have that perfect like straight part in it. And it drives me crazy because I always mess up this brow. So my brows are not twins or sisters, they're like third cousins. And then I'm just gonna put some brow gel just to hold them in place. This is the ABH brow gel, it's amazing. If you're looking for a legit brow gel, everyone uses it and so do I. So that's all we're gonna do with that. Okay, so we're done with my eyes. Very simple, guys. This palette did not work out the way I was thinking it was, so mm, mad about that because I was really, really excited for this palette. Next, we're gonna try out a new product again. This is a Maybelline Master Bronze. I hope you guys don't mind. This is really my favorite bronzer brush and it's dirty, but I've been using this with it, so that's what got it dirty. And for my skin tone, I basically just go in between these two. Um, 
And then I usually go like on my cheekbone with this. So I just think, to be honest, this palette is not for my skin tone. It's a little too light. And I like more of like a golden bronze. In the summertime, my favorite one is NARS, not Laguna. And I'm totally blanking on the name of the one that works for my skin tone. This one I just think doesn't really have a ton of pigmentation. This is the highlight and then this is like another highlighty shade. And then these are the bronzers. They're like too light. So for sure I'll be returning these. Like people that ask me whether I'm going to return a product. This one is definitely going back into the store. Like there's no pigment there. So I'm not a huge fan of that product. And then I'm going to skip on blush because that's kind of what I've been doing um, these days. And I really want to use the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter Illuminator from Maybelline. This is their new single highlighter. And my favorite highlighting brush is the Real Techniques brush. And so we're just going to do a nice little swirl. And we're going to pop that on those cheekbones. This is intense. I need to blend this. Especially with no bronzer, it's like not. It's like too much, too much. Holy crap, that's an intense highlight. Okay, it's pretty pigmented. Definitely a pop in highlight. It's kind of dusty. I want a little too ham on that side. So I'll try and take it easy on this side. Damn. Put a little bit on the nose. A little on the brow bone. I love putting highlight on my cupid bow. And on my chin. Holy. So in my makeup routine, I put highlighter on and then put lipstick on because I feel like it's hard to get to your cupid's bow if you put on highlight first. And then I'm gonna put on some more of this to set everything. And I don't love the mister of that. It was very like camel spitty, but that was pretty, I mean, it feels really good. Got some on my shoulders. Cause I think this would be a good one to highlight my shoulders with. Also a lot of the drugstore products I'm using guys, I did get from Ulta. But then I found them in store at Walmart, so I did end up taking some stuff back to Ulta because Walmart is ultimately going to be like the cheapest option for a drugstore. They don't have some stuff yet though. I really like that face spray. I think it did a really good job of setting my skin. So that's good. And the highlights, bomb AF. And then for lips, I wanted to do... Um, a new product by Colourpop, or not so new anymore, but this is the Blotted Lip in the shade Candy Floss. And I know a lot of friends of mine that are Instagrammers and YouTubers that love the Blotted Lips, and I do too. They're so lightweight and fun. I love this color. It's like a perfect nude. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of Buxom Dolly. And I love the... I love the blotted lips paired with a gloss because it gives out that perfect popsicle effect. So love that and there's a little bit of a tingle so I do like the box of lip glosses. I just didn't like the shade White Russian because it was a little too light for my skin tone. So for my skin tone go with a shade like Dolly. It's like a beautiful mauve shade. And then last but not least let's curl my lashes and um, use some new L'Oreal mascara. It's new to the market, so a lot of people have been talking about it. I've had it for a while, and I do honestly really like it. I never liked the Better Than Sex Mascara, so I don't know. I, I think it could be a dupe. I'm not very familiar with that mascara, so I'm not really the one to be talking about it. But I do like this wand.
Okay guys, that is it for my video full of reviews and first impressions. I have been holding on to all of these products for quite some time now, so I just thought it would be so fun, instead of just filming one video just talking solely about this palette, to do like a whole little get ready with me with all these new products. So if you have any questions on any specific products, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day, bye.